And should the sky be filled with fire and smoke, keep watching over during sun. People were very doubtful that I could sell out one Madison Square Garden, um, but my reasoning for doing it is I wanted to prove a point. I didn't want to finish my American success being an opening act, so I thought, now I've done the Taylor tour, I'll probably be able to move up. I remember the label just being like, why are you, why are you doing that? You can't, don't do that, don't, wait, wait. And now whenever I visit radio stations or press or anyone in America, it's just like, oh yeah, you did the three FSGs rather than, oh, you sold quite a bit, quite a few records over a very long period of time, you know, so it's good, it proved, proved the point. My, 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 oh give me love, my, 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 give me love, give me love like never. Can you show how you have tattoos on one arm that personalise tattoos on the other arm that represent professional accomplishments? So, uh, this arm is professional accomplishments and these are all where I've toured and singles that have come out. This is Lego House, this is Small Bump, this is when the A-Team came out in the States. This is Canada, Japan, New Zealand, Australia, and it kind of goes on and on. That's a drawing that Damien Rice did for me when I was 11, of me, which is cool. Um, and then this one's personal accomplishments, and well, not personal accomplishments, more just personal. Um, this is a, a Matisse, and it's of her mother and child. Mum's favorite artist is Matisse. Um, these are three boxing gloves for three Madison Square Gardens. Um, this is for my granddad, who sadly passed away at Christmas. Uh, that's the Hobbit, the Hobbit song in, in Elvish. Yep. Um, and then there's a teddy bear there, and some whiskey at the back there. There's just some. It's cool. Five artists I looked up to as a kid, um, there was a band called Nisloffy, uh, which were a folk acoustic band, uh, sadly had broken up, but they were, I went on tour with their guitar tech and learned everything from live performance about them, um, from watching them. Damien Rice started me writing songs and made me believe that I could be an acoustic singer-songwriter rather than needing a band. Um, Eric Clapton got me to start a guitar, that's watching him on TV, I was like, I want to play Layla, that's the one thing I wouldn't want to learn. Eminem for lyrics. Um, I don't think anyone has uh, educated me as much as his first two albums have over over the years of just how to put words together. And I guess number five would be a culmination combination of the Beatles, Van Morrison, Bob Dylan, because they were like, who, and Elton John as well, who, who my dad used to play me. 